Yes. Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's gonna be a short video. Uh, yesterday I recorded myself taking the snow off the um, my shed roof, the roof of the shed. <laughs> and uh, I just left the snow there and uh, I was gonna take the tractor out today. So I'm gonna do that now. And uh, probably just do a bit of the rear blade at the uh, at the street because the uh, plow went by and I don't want to use the shovel. <laughs> so uh, we'll clean that up and uh, that's it. So thanks for being there. Thanks for watching and uh, let's clean it up. Oh, forgot to mention also that I uh, greased the fittings on the snowblower. I checked the hydraulic fluid in the rear and uh, it was a bit low. I'm starting to get a little... Uh, little sound, a humming sound, whenever I was used to, I would use the hydraulic, say, to move the uh, chute left or right, or when I would raise the uh, rear blade. So I uh, decided to check it, and it needed a bit, probably uh, not quite half a pint. Don't know if that's normal, because I don't see any uh, leaky spots on the uh, garage floor, so I don't know, does it evaporate? You tell me, guys. I'm not the expert on this tractor stuff. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, yeah, so I uh, greased that, put some oil, and I think we're all set. I'll start her up. We'll go outside and we'll clean the uh, little snow bank I left with the snow from the roof. All right? Okay, let's try and take some of the snow off the shed. There's uh, probably, I don't know, 14, 16 inches. I'll be back. That's it. I'm done. I think next year I'll run a rope from the top where the lamp is all the way down the middle to the other side, tie it off, and then when there's enough, just pull on each end and see if it slides off the roof and then help it let go. We'll try that next year. Okay, let's put this. Uh, phone holder on the uh, my selfie stick. Let's go give you an up close look of what the roof looks like. 
There we go. Also, I uh, wanted to give you just a little quick uh, update on the uh, supports from my hydraulic hose. Hydraulic hoses um, seems to work working out fine. No issues, nothing rubbing, and uh, I guess uh, this is a better solution than the pigtails. Well, Dave, I had to try it. It worked. <laughs> 
also decided to take the snow off the roof of the gazebo before we got any rain. We were supposed to get some and I didn't want that heavy snow to be on the gazebo. All right, well, it was a short one. Uh, took away that little powdered snow at the end of the driveway. Uh, the compacted snow uh, from the roof, the shed roof. And that's why I was going, I was going a bit slower, but nothing uh, this beast can't handle. And uh, yeah, I uh, greased uh, some of the fittings, put in some hydraulic uh, fluid. So I think she's all A-OK. -okay. Check the oil level, check the... Uh, uh, come on, Luke. Yeah, that there. I checked that, and that was okay. Front axle, got it. And uh, yeah, so uh, we'll wait for the next storm to come by. So uh, thanks for being there. Don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And uh, why not share it with your friends? So I guess we'll catch you in the next one. So take care. Stay safe. Bye for now, everybody. Thank you.